Our first question is based on question 16 from the 2009 HSC exam, and it is, NASA recently landed a space probe on an asteroid found between the orbits of Earth and Mars. The 500 kilogram space probe had a weight of 2.5 newtons when it landed on the asteroid, and we were asked to calculate what would be the weight of this space probe on the surface of the Earth, so the force due to gravity on the surface of the Earth, and what is the value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the asteroid, so what is g on the asteroid. We'll just give ourselves a little bit of space and we'll write the values in that were given in the question and in the data sheets on the side here so that they're all in one place and easy to find. m, the mass of the space probe, equals 500 kilograms. The value of force due to gravity, the weight of the space probe on the asteroid, is 2.5 newtons, and we've given a little a subscript to show it's asteroid. And we've got to calculate the force due to gravity on the Earth, so subscript e for the Earth, and the value of acceleration due to gravity on the asteroid, so subscript a to show that it's the asteroid. We're also given in the HSC data tables the value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth. So G subscript D equals 9.81 metres per second squared, although the value in the HSC data sheets is actually 9.8 metres per second squared. Let's come over here, write in our formula, F subscript G equals MG, and all we have to do is, is plug in the values. So mass is 500 kilograms, and acceleration due to gravity on the Earth is 9.81 metres per second squared. Pull up our calculator and plug in our values. So 500 kilograms multiplied by 9.81 metres per second squared gives a value of 4,905 newtons for the weight, the force due to gravity on the space probe on the surface of the Earth. We're also asked to calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the asteroid. And to do this, we'll have to rearrange our equation to get g on one side. So we divide both sides by m. So we have on one side f subscript g over m equals mg over m. The two m's on the right hand side cancel, so therefore we're left with acceleration due to gravity equals force due to gravity divided by the mass. And we'll put in our values, and force due to gravity on the asteroid is 2.5 newtons. Mass of the space probe is 500 kilograms. Just pull up our calculator again, plug in our values, 2.5 divided by 500, and we get a value for acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the asteroid of 0 0.005 metres per second squared. Our second question is based on question 7 from the 2010 HSC exam. And it is, acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Mercury is 3.6 metres per second squared. What is the weight of a 2 kilogram brick on Earth and on Mercury? So we'll just write in the information we're given over here. Mass equals 2.0 kilograms. And we also have the value of acceleration due to gravity on Earth from the HSC data tables. It's 9.81 metres per second squared. The value of acceleration due to gravity on Mercury, G subscript M, is 3.6 metres per second squared from the question. So let's have a look at the answers. A is 2 kilograms for the weight on Mercury and 2 kilograms for the weight on Earth. We're after a force in Newtons and 2 kilograms is just the mass of the brick, so we can discount A. B is also in kilograms and we're after a force in Newtons, so we can discount B. C is in Newtons, but both of the values are identical and acceleration due to gravity on Earth and on Mercury are very different. And according to our formula, F subscript G equals mg 
force due to gravity equals mass times acceleration due to gravity, we'd be after different answers, so we can discount C. Therefore, the answer has to be D. Just for the sake of completeness, give ourselves a bit of room and we'll do the answer mathematically as well. So, first thing we're going to do is calculate the weight, the force due to gravity on Earth. So, F subscript G, and we'll have to put in a little subscript G, equals mg, and we just have to plug in our values. 2.0 multiplied by 9.81, and we get our answer of 19.62 newtons. So, now we have to calculate the force due to gravity on the brick on Mercury, the weight of the brick on Mercury. We'll use the same formula, F subscript G equals mg, and we'll just plug in our values, 2.0 kilograms for the mass of the brick, 3.6 metres per second for acceleration due to gravity on Mercury. We get our answer of 7.2 newtons. Therefore, once again, the answer has to be D. And our final question is also a multiple choice, and it's based on question 2 from the 2011 HSC exam. And it is, a 60 kilogram object weighs 240 newtons on the surface of planet X. What is the value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of planet X? So, once again, we're going to write in the information we're given here, so it's all in one place. M equals 60 kilograms. The force due to gravity, or the weight, on planet X equals 240 newtons. What is the acceleration due to gravity on planet X? Give ourselves some room to do the calculation. And our formula, once again, if F subscript G equals mg. We'll have to rearrange that to give G on one side. Therefore, we divide both sides by M. And we have F subscript G divided by M equals MG divided by M. The two M's on the right-hand side cancel. We're left with G equals F subscript G over M. And now we can just plug in our values. And that is 240 for the force due to gravity and 60 for the mass of the object. And we get a value of 4 metres per second squared for acceleration due to gravity on the surface of planet X. Thank you for watching.